I am going to show you how I make and edit content for my small business. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenna. I also go by Crochet by Jenna, which is the name of my crochet business that I started three years ago. I'm actually a nine to five corporate girly, but I spend all of my free time running my small business. Creating content is key to my business's success since it's the only way that I market my products and get my company's name out there. So in this video, we are going to really dive deep into how I create content to market my products, how do I edit my long and short form content, and also some tips and tricks. So with that, let's get into it. So when it comes to editing and content creation, I feel like you either love it or you hate it. A fun fact about myself is when I was in high school, I was part of my newspaper club and I was in charge of editing our weekly like newscast episodes. This is where I first fell in love with editing. So I've been editing since 2012, I think. Like I've been editing for a long time. It's crazy because in high school, I was definitely a behind the cameras only kind of girl. I did not want to be in front of the camera. So never in my wildest dreams would I have thought that I would create a YouTube channel and I would be like in front of the camera. But long story short, as much as I love editing, it is extremely time consuming. So with the holiday season coming up, especially Black Friday, as a small business owner, I have so much prep to do. Every month, my shop usually usually has like a discount of either like five to six or seven percent off but on black friday i plan on running the largest sale that my shop has ever had i'm thinking 50 percent which is kind of crazy but to get my audience and my customers excited i really need to market the sale well and we're already into november so i feel like i'm behind and i really need to play catch up usually creating all of the content that i have planned would take me several weeks but there is a new platform out there that will make it super easy and super quick. The platform is called CapCut Commerce Pro. And if you guys have been following me for some time now, you know that I love CapCut. It is the only editing software that I use. So when I heard about CapCut Commerce Pro, I was like, this is exactly what I needed for this holiday season. So in a nutshell, CapCut Commerce Pro will help streamline your e-commerce business's content production process. This platform was designed specifically for e-commerce entrepreneurs such as myself who heavily rely on creating content to help market their products and sell their brand. CapCut Commerce Pro offers so many different tools, but my personal favorite and I think the most game-changing tool would have to be the video generator. All you have to do is enter a URL from either Shopify, Amazon, or TikTok shop, and the tool with the help of AI will take all of that product information and generate video content for you to use. It's honestly so crazy how powerful this tool is and how much time it will save you, especially during crunch time like right now. I personally have been using this tool a ton lately and I wanted to walk you guys through how to use it. Okay, let's prep one of my products for my Black Friday sale. So one of my newest and most popular patterns is my king size turtle pattern and I want to list it as 50% off so usually it's six dollars so it'll only be three dollars on Black Friday. So first I'm going to load up CapCut Commerce Pro on my web browser and we are going to click on the video generator tool. I'll then go to my Shopify website and grab the URL for my king size turtle listing and as you can see CapCut will automatically pull in all of the details from my website listing so then from here I can make a few adjustments to like the price and the sale date. Like like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to make it 50% off. So instead of $6, it'll be $3. And we are going to set the sale date just for Black Friday. It's going to be a one day true Black Friday sale. And then if we scroll down, you'll see that CapCut Commerce Pro offers a ton of different video options. You can pick specifically what content you want created, but I'm just gonna leave them all checked off because the more the merrier, right? And then if you want, you can make even more adjustments to the product title and the product description. All right, and then at the bottom here, CapCut Commerce Pro already uploaded and pulled in all of the photos and videos from the listing, but I feel like I want to upload some additional photos since I do have a bunch on my laptop already. It can never hurt, right? So I'm going to grab those photos real quick and upload them, and then I think we're good to go to the next step. So in this section, we will really get to customize how the video will look. The video generator tool will automatically produce a script for you using AI, and if you want, you can go ahead and adjust the script as needed. 
create it. So I'm specifically going down to the special deal script because I feel like this is the most relevant to me. And I'm just gonna make a few adjustments to it to tailor it to kind of like have my own voice. And as you can see, there's a bunch of other things that you can customize, but I'm gonna go ahead and generate the video just to see what we're working with. And then later on we can customize it further. So I'm gonna hit generate and let's see what CapCut comes up with. All right, here are all the videos that CapCut generated for us. It honestly is mind blowing that we've gotten to this point in like society that we have software that is able to do this for us. And I like barely did anything. I just put in the URL. Like CapCut Commerce Pro is going to change the game and change the way that we create content. Honestly, I feel like forever. And the fact that I didn't have to take any new photos, film any new videos, like it saved me so much time. But okay, I'm going to quickly browse through all the different options that CapCut gave me and pick out which video I like the best. I love all of the different options and that is another reason why I checked off to include all the different types of videos just because you have more to choose from. Ooh, okay, I actually really like this one with the avatar talking. I feel like I've seen a lot of TikTok videos where someone is using like the same style video to promote a product. I actually haven't tried this video style yet just because I didn't know how to low key, but now with this video tool, I'm able to do it super easily. So I'm going to make some quick adjustments to the script and if you scroll down, you'll see that the captions are auto-generated, which is so, so nice. I love all the different style options they include as well. And I think for this video, let's go with this yellow font style. And what's crazy is that you can even change the avatar and their voice. Ooh, actually, let's go with this girl with, I think it looks like a knit pillow. It caught my eye, so I'm gonna click her and we'll just leave her default voice. All right, the video is looking really good. There are a few more tweaks that I wanna make, so let's head into the editor. This is where we can adjust everything about the video. We can add text, we can add pictures, we can remove stuff, we can reposition things. You get free range of everything. And honestly, this is what the typical like cap cut video editor looks like, so I feel right at home. So right off the bat, I wanted to add like an eye-catching graphic to really say like Black Friday, 50% off. So looking in the library provided by CapCut, there's already a graphic that I see which is perfect for this. So let me drag that in. I'm also going to change the font size of the limited time offer text just so it like fits better. And same thing with the cozy craft night and like easy beginner pattern text. I wanna like scale it down. And then lastly, let's make this arrow at the end bigger to make it more eye catching. But okay, I think that's it. Our video is good to go. So I'm gonna export it. And this is just crazy to me. I keep saying that, but it honestly is because that took me like under 10 minutes. Whereas if I were to shoot that manually and edit it manually, it would have taken me so long. So that concludes the CapCut Commerce Pro video generator tool. I get a ton of questions from you guys asking like, what's the best way to start video editing for complete beginners? Like I have no experience at all. And honestly, with this tool, it would allow anyone to start creating content super easy. Even if you're an advanced editor like myself, CapCut Commerce Pro seriously saves so much time and it really takes all of the tedious aspects of editing out for you. And the video generator tool is honestly just one of many tools that CapCut Commerce Pro offers. Offers. All of the other tools help with content creation as well. It can really help expedite things, especially during this crazy time of year where you need to create graphics like this. And I'll just highlight them real quickly for you guys. So the image studio that they have, it's really cool if you have product photos where you need to remove the background and you kind of want to change up the look of your product photos. You can batch edit photos all at once. Using AI, you can create really cool sales posters. And if you just want to edit your image in general, they have the image editor. They also have a templates tool, which is so, so helpful. This is perfect if you're a beginner and you're not really sure where to start in terms of structuring your video or making it eye popping. You can select one of these templates to have as a starting point and then you can tailor it as needed. Okay, now let's talk about short form video content in general. So outside of creating content for marketing purposes to show off a specific product or tell about a specific sale, I like to create short form content. So TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts that really kind of like show off Crochet by Jenna in terms of like who I am and just like fun behind the scenes content. This year specifically, I've been experimenting with a lot of voiceovers and storytelling. I feel like this year specifically, I had a lot of reels kind of go viral where I am telling a story. And originally I was using Instagram's like built in like editor just to quickly like put together something real quick. But with the voiceovers and the storytelling reels, it's really hard to use that built in editor. So now I edit everything in CapCut. And CapCut actually has a mobile 
mobile app and a desktop app, but I always use the desktop version. Like I mentioned earlier, I've been editing since high school and I've always edited on the computer, so I'm just kind of used to it. But let's walk through how I edit my short form content and kind of give you guys an example. So I personally have an iPhone and I shoot all my videos on my iPhone. I think for like Instagram Reels, Shorts, TikToks, my short form content, I really just use my iPhone. For my long form content, like my YouTube videos, I use different equipment, but with my short form content, it's always my iPhone. And this makes it easy because since I have an iPhone and since I have a Mac, I just airdrop all of my footage from my iPhone to my Mac directly. So once I have all of the footage ready, I sent the footage from my phone to my laptop. I'll then pull up CapCut and get started. So really the first thing I like to do is drag all of the clips that I want included in the reel, the TikTok, whatever, and I like to put it in chronological order. Some people might call this like a rough cut. I'm just trying to put the video together super rough and see how it will flow. So then once I have everything included that I want and it's in the order that I want, I'll then go into more in-depth editing. So this is my top tip and maybe it's called a trick instead. I guess it could be both. But anyway, I don't know if you guys know this, but if you hit B on your keyboard, it will bring out the blade tool and the blade tool is probably the most important tool. The blade tool will allow you to basically cut a clip in half and this is super helpful if you want to like cut out a certain part. There was like a long pause and you wanted to shrink the pause. If you say something by mistake you can cut it out. The blade tool is awesome. So to quickly switch to it you can just hit B on your keyboard and then go ahead and line up where you want to make that cut and when you have it exactly where you want it just hit down to cut it and then once you see the clips are cut you can go ahead and make a another cut or if you're done with the blade tool you can just hit A on your keyboard and that will turn it back to the regular cursor and from there once you have the clip that you want to remove and you have like isolated it you can just hit delete and then poof it's gone so I like to go through the video from start to finish and I will make any cuts that I think are necessary and once we get to this point I then like to go in and add sound effects text and any other like transitions or embellishments. To me, it's super important that we have the main video all set and ready, like all of the cuts are made, just because that's kind of how I like to approach it. I know everyone's editing style is a little different. For voiceover specifically, I will edit the video first and get it set up exactly how I want it, and then I will go record the voiceover in line with what I have on the video. Whereas if I did the voiceover first, I feel like it might be hard to line up the video exactly. But again, it's just personal preference. And speaking of voiceovers, I like to record voiceovers just on my phone. I'll just put it on a video and I'll like speak to it. And once I'm done recording the voiceover, I'll just like upload that video clip to CapCut again. And I will drag the video onto my video editor. And then if you right click on the video that you selected, so in my case, it's the video with the voiceover, you can hit extract audio and that will completely take out all of the audio, kind of like what it says. And you'll be left with a silent video. So since it's a voiceover, I can take away the video, I'm going to delete the video out, and then I will drag my audio file right below the video clips. And then with voiceovers, the voiceover itself is like the only audio you want playing. So then I'll go back and highlight all of the video clips and set that audio to zero. So I feel like we're going a little out of order, but with CapCut, you probably have noticed that it is a timeline view and the way that you stack your videos and audio files make a huge difference. So for example, you have your main line with your main video, but if you drag a video on top of your main video like this, then the video on top will always play over and cover the video on the bottom. It's kind of like with Photoshop, you have different layers of the photo. This is the same idea. And audio files, so music and like sound effects, they'll always be on the bottom of the video timeline. So once I have audio set, I have the video itself set, then I like to go in and add some fun embellishments. CapCut has so many fun stickers included in their editor, which I personally love. It's so amazing that I don't have to go Google like for these images specifically. If I wanna throw in like a heart, then I can just search heart on CapCut sticker library and all of the different options will pop up. And then if I find one I like, I'll I'll just drag it down to my main video section and I can place it exactly where I want it. You can make the size bigger, smaller, etc. And when making short form content specifically, I want to call out the fact that CapCut has the ability to auto-generate captions for you. This is like a game changer because back in the day, 
I manually wrote all of the captions and it was so painful, so painful. So once I'm done with the video and I know I won't be making any more edits, I'll then hit auto generate captions and this will automatically place the captions for me. And then from there, I can select what style I like the best. I feel like I use this yellow one the most in my reels just because I like how it flows the best, but feel free to use whatever. And I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but CapCut is free. There's a free version and then they have CapCut Pro, which has a bunch of other features like the auto-generated captions, cooler stickers, cooler transitions, etc. I personally started out using the free version and it was totally fine. I did go ahead and invest in the pro version. I'd say like maybe six months into my YouTube channel, like taking off just because I did want to have those other cool features unlocked. But as a beginner, I feel like the free version will totally suffice. All right, so now let's talk about long form content, AKA my YouTube videos. I feel like I get so many questions from you guys asking how I edit my YouTube videos. And honestly, it's pretty similar to how I edit my short form. So I won't repeat a lot of the things that I already covered, but for my YouTube videos specifically, I like to format my vlogs where you have a few preview clips in the beginning. So I'll say like coming up or in this vlog and it'll have like all of the highlights of the vlog. So funny things I've said or like weird moments, like cool moments. I'll make sure to put them all in the front so it really like grabs the audience's attention and then I'll have my intro video that my sister made me and then we'll go right into the vlog. So similar to my short form content, I will import all of the video footage that I need into CapCut and I will drag everything down to the timeline view and I will order it specifically how I would want it. And then from there, I'll go search for these key highlights. And when I find a moment that I think is funny or worth putting in the beginning, I'll use the blade tool. So I'll hit B on my keyboard and I'll go ahead and isolate that clip. And then I'll make a copy of it so that way the clip will remain where it is in the timeline, but then I can also put it in the front. So then I will go ahead and paste that clip in the front of the video. And I'll repeat this a few times with all the different highlights that I wanna include. And then I'll go into the sticker section and I'll find a cute little sticker that says like recording or something, just to give off the impression that it's like coming soon or it's coming up. And then I'll also grab some text and I'll write like coming up in this vlog and I'll select the style that I want. I feel like I keep this pretty much the same for every vlog, but sometimes I'll feel a little spicy and want to change it up, but it's really up to personal preference. I know some vloggers like to keep their intros exactly the same every time. And if you don't want to go this route, you totally don't have to. You can go right into your introduction. You can go right into your like intro video, whatever you want. So once I have my intro set, I have all my highlights, then I will go through and do the rough cuts. I'll I'll take out any like long pauses. I'll take out any mistakes that I might have said. And then I'm left with the basic plain video. And I will say this is a bit tedious. It kind of comes with the video editing realm. Just be prepared to spend a lot of time like going through, parsing out all of those sections, but it is worth it in the end because then your video flows so much better. I feel like I've talked to a few of you guys and you are like, oh, you know, you're so good on camera. Like I tried to record a YouTube video and I stumbled so many times, but but that is truly the power of editing. Like I stumble so many times. I probably have re-recorded the same segment like 10 times, but you guys just would never know because editing, I took all of that out and I make sure it flows really well. But anyway, back to it. Once I have my plain video all set and ready to go, we'll then go in and add the embellishments. What I didn't cover in the short form content section, CapCut has a lot of fun sounds built in, specifically sound effects. And I feel like having these sound effects, like a text message sound or like a ping, a pop, it's a way to get your audience's attention back on you. Just because it's human nature, it's very easy for us to get distracted, especially when watching like a long video. So a way to pull your audience back in is to add like a sound effect. So my favorite are this pop sound or this mouse click sound and I will do that whenever I like insert a picture on screen or if I'm saying something important like oh there's a sale coming up and I put the date on screen I'll put the pop sound just so it gets everybody's attention back on the screen another thing I like to do to kind of spice up some like plain talking scenes is to do a zoom in of my face if I say something weird and this is super easy to do so using your blade tool go ahead and slice out the section that you want to have zoomed up and once you isolate that section all you have to do is click on it and then under the scale setting just zoom it in to where you like and then you can reposition it as needed but I think having these 
these like zoomed in portions of the video make it more interesting and adds more character I feel to your video. And then lastly, along the same lines, I like to include pictures and videos while I'm talking here on screen. So I'll say like, oh, I'll insert a picture here. So all you need to do to do that is take the picture that you want to insert, make sure you import it into CapCut, and then just simply drag the photo down to where you want it to appear in your video. And then you can resize it as needed. I also like that CapCut gives you the option to crop it, to flip the orientation. You can do whatever you want to this picture, which is awesome because then it can perfectly fit in exactly where you want it. And I'm sorry if I didn't cover this before, but the way that you make something last longer on screen, so like for example, that picture, say you want it to last for like five seconds, you can just drag it starting from like the right hand side of it, just drag it using your cursor all the way out and that's how you basically control the duration and then same thing vice versa if you want it shorter just take it from the right hand side and drag it to the left but yeah i feel like that covers the basics the only other thing i would mention is transitions they're super fun to use especially if you're doing like a vlog and you want to switch to the next day and you have a new clip that's in a totally different like background i would say use a transition to help transition the clips better CapCut has a bunch built in my favorites include like the mix I love the swipe left and I also love the like paper crumble and then you can pair that with a sound effect like the paper crumble effect or the swoosh effect and it just kind of like adds to your video. But all right, I think that covers everything. I feel like this definitely was a beginner friendly tutorial slash like overview of editing and content creation. If you guys are interested, I could go in more depth for a future video and kind of show you step by step some more advanced editing features and all that good stuff if you guys would find it helpful. I will say I've been editing for a long time, but there's still some stuff that I don't even know. I actually didn't know how to do the little circle down here with me talking and I had to google it so when in doubt google is your best friend you learn something new every day what can i say a huge shout out to CapCut for sponsoring today's video this honestly was a dream collab for me i love 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 CapCut, and i'm so excited about CapCut commerce pro it will seriously change the way we edit and create content and i totally will be using it around the clock as we lead up to black friday and the holiday season so if you're a content creator small business entrepreneur you have an e-commerce site or you just need to create content in general highly recommend checking out CapCut Commerce Pro but all right until next time I hope you guys have a great rest of your day thank you so much for watching I hope you found it helpful I'll catch you guys in my next one bye